you know, but you're driving in winter. You know, the, you know, the beginning of winter. I can't have it, but I fix it or something. Oh, God, Jesus, we shot my figure. Three minutes. Good morning, Ali. But huh, wait a minute now. Batul, Miss Marva. Good morning. How you doing? How are you doing this morning? Is it morning now? Where are you live? On the road. <laughs> you must be new, cause I never see that name before. How how are you guys doing? Tell me some here. I shall be a little cosy to you know they're wrong over here. Over this and figure hold on. I mean wish lane me figure okay my ghost left. Hi guys, wait a minute. Shani. Good night. Nice weather. It's cold. It is cold right here. What if I got left on the right page? What if I right page me upon? One day if I'm on the right page. Hi guys, how are you doing today? You know it's your girl Flawless Rain. Flawless Rain Entertainment Inc. What's up, pretty lady? Where do you live? Wait a minute, am I on the right page? Because I mean I know nobody will miss this man. Where my people am there? Where land there? Where are my people? I don't see anybody that I know. Hi. Yes, I have also cool weather. Nice to know. One of me the pan. More than me look at which page me the pan. But the flawless rain me the pan. Too high. I just turned it down over here. Should me warm up the car. Hi guys, how is everybody doing? How are you guys doing? Stay right where you're there. I wait for me to turn. Yeah, come like you want. Come like half piece of me. I'm Miss Claudia Brown, thank God me find you Miss Marva. Yes, Miss say, to miss the new people. I say, I wonder if I'm on the right page. Because I never see them people there before. But anyway, we are on the right page, yeah? Yes, guys, how are you guys doing? I am just taking you guys on a tour. Miss Elaine Lee, good day. How are you doing, darling? How are you doing? How is your day going on? Um, as you can see, we soon have night come down. Yes. It's just what to four or after three, after three. Beverly, Beverly Black, hi, beautiful. I'm doing praise. God. Yeah, you're doing good. Thank God for Jesus. We're alive. It's Maxine. Happy New Year to you too, darling. How you doing? How you doing? You know, every time I touch the road, well, now all time I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're going on a tour. You are on the right page. <laughs> Thank you because we say, well, I go. You kind of let me take the highway. Yeah, take the highway. Yeah, I've come up by five o'clock. Miss Laurel, how you doing? You see, you me just week. Oh my God, look at this traffic. Look at this traffic. I'm making answer the highway. If you see the highway, have traffic on it too. Oh my God, Miss Marshall e. Brown. Good morning, Miss Jackie. Uh, you are be following you. Amen. Oh, Shani, thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Um, but to say I am from Pakistan and it's 142 here. Oh, it's 142 where you at? Okay, it's three, it's 320 something where I'm at. Okay, nice journey and thank you for watching me. Let me see if I can go over this side at all. Chuck, you're just so mean, yeah, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, you're just so mean. And the boss will come next. Boss, just about to lick me in the boss. Don't bother lick me. All right, thank God for Jesus. Yeah, man, when we see the new people, me, I wonder, like, what, am I on the right page? Not one person who me know me never see. I was wondering, am I on the right page? Hey, Care Virgo, Miss Cynthia, how you doing? Thank you so much. I'm taking you guys on a little tour with me. 
Yes, you never know. You might see Santa Claus. You might see something. You never know where I'm going. I'm just taking you guys. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you something, guys. Be positive in everything that you're doing. Let me tell you. Lies have a way of, of getting, you know, of caught up with you people. I'm saying. A person been lying to me for the past three months now and I just found out today that the person is really lying but guess what you did not do me anything you did yourself you know when somebody when you're good to somebody and somebody abuse the system let me tell you they're, they're not hurting you they're hurting themselves you understand me you see that miss, miss Laurel we have to work whether it is snowing whether it is cold whether it is warm you know in the in the in the in the blaze of the let me see in the blaze of the heat you know the humidity and everything like that we have to work we can't sit our ass down and they have some people that you be sorry for them you you say you're gonna you know help them because you, you felt sorry for them but let me tell you sometimes we just have to leave people where they are stop sending your hard-earned money for people who don't really deserve it you know flawless i love you not the way people would be thinking but in ah sister i love you too with my heart don't worry about what people think we care about people less this time of the year <laughs> it's the beginning of the year we don't care about what people think people mind are smutty and it's always gonna be people mind always gonna lead them wherever they want to go you know i don't pay them no mind i really don't pay them no mind love is love love is love miss laurel and i i, I feel used man i feel used I feel used but guess what God have a way of exposing people enough will be always be enough a person will do things uh, for a long time but let me tell you when the time come for them to stop they gotta stop you know no matter what no matter what God will always bring them out you will see their true colors one day nothing is hidden from God you know so they they will continue to do what they believe that they can do but after a while God will expose them just like evil people evil people will continue to do their evilness you know they will continue to do their evil deeds but you see when God say hey time 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 it's en enough is enough let me tell you they're gonna expose them and that's why I said to people if you know somebody is doing something just continue to pray you know let it be let God take over let God do his part miss Stacy Gilbert how you doing miss Paulette how you doing how you doing you know you know we see a girl flawless red aka boss lady miss Marva there um, uh, yes they'll be exposed after a while of course and that is sure miss Jennifer Dawkins how you doing how you doing that is sure uh, something that is sure tell me about it yeah it's something that is sure you know and you've been helping a person who you believe that that need help say it loud you've been thinking about a person that need help and you help them to up to a point and then to find out that these people are using you let me tell you man let me tell you man hey, it's not it's not easy miss Beverly said so true it's not easy let me tell you it's not easy And, and if you say you're not gonna help anybody you now, you're not gonna do things and then you know the good is gonna be suffering for the bad. Miss Even Powell, how you doing? Miss Tamara, good as how you doing? You hear your name? Tamara good as good as with them, are you are good as with them right? You hear me? So you know it, it is so sad that the amount of people would really need your help. Uh, me, miss, you have a radio voice, Lord Jesus, no sir. I'm trying not to use it this year because it come in natural and they say I me, me a fear read the personality voice, you know. And they nearly mad me for it last year. So I kinda try not me kinda talk while we no feel not chipping no tall. Miss Monica Roach, how you doing? How you doing? Thanks anyway. How you doing, Miss Monica? You know? So you have to be careful of when somebody come and tell you that they need help. They need help. And you know, you, you try to give them your help. You try to give them help and then they it turns out that you might need help more than what they what they need miss Pauline miss Paulette Nelson I'm doing good I can see you doing road every day I'm in the road you know see that <laughs> hey miss Eliana laugh after me every day I'm in the road I try to get some 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 plastic bags go buy some bags over here or so. I need some tall plastic bags. 
Yeah, man, that, them, them really. Hold oh, on, you know what? Let me take it, yes, sir. I know, sir. I know, sir. I never feel they do this in a but Watch you now. I know I wasn't supposed to do this, but I'm not think no police are watching me. Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't supposed to do this. All right. All right, sir. Yeah. You know? Miss Laurel, what you do? Oh, I'm frightening. I feel all over your soul. Lord Jesus. Miss Cheryl, Miss Carol, how you doing? How you doing? Miss Gloria McLeod, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What you doing? The dark will come to the light, Miss Laurel. Miss Inca, how you doing, darling? How you doing? Yes. I'm going on this lonely road here. I need some plastic bags. I need some plastic bags. I need some plastic bags. Plastic bags. Yes, I need some plastic bags. Oop. That's the way I said, I'm afraid I'm going to get. Sit back and enjoy. Yeah, sit back and enjoy the ride. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so true. People use your kindness for weakness, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Run, I'm going to grab the bag and come back. People use their kindness, use your kindness for weakness. I'm telling you, it's not, it's not an easy road. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Yes, I'm back. What is? Yeah. So you know, Miss Jennifer Dawkins, they are opportunists, love people, things. Uh huh. Miss Angela Tom, how are you doing? You know, yes. And people out there that really need our help. Um, I might can't help right now, but you never know when help will come, or uh, when 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 things might come that you can help somebody. But let me tell you, um, you will be, you know saying that you're not gonna help a person because somebody has messed you up but it's not all the time that you know we will turn our back on somebody because let me tell you people out there they really need our help and just because of another person you know what would you call it coming now gonna say it's a mistake it's no mistake you know because of other people behavior and their selfishness let me figure how we are our local what time is it um you know let me take a highway i'm gonna take a highway back up the highway around the field. let me take a highway because of other people behavior it's hard for you to it's hard for you to to really reach out and help some people and i've been helping this person over three months um they cried they have somebody call me who um, I, I'm so disappointed in that person because knowing me, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't like, oh, I didn't do it, but because I felt like you're using your feeling. No, you can't use a feeling to judge people all the time. He was using his feeling, you know, and I asked him to go check this out for me, make sure that what this person is saying is true. And you know why I'm feeling a bit uh, frustrated and disappointed at the same time? Um, the help that the person is getting is not really coming from my pocket You know, it's coming from someone else who I know who I've talked to Who I've talked to about it and, and stuff like that You know, and the person willing to help The person said, okay, I'm going to do this for you because of you I'm going to do this for you And the person been doing it because of me And just to find out today That this person was, was, was lying all along um them 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 what you call it the other person was being a uh, uh 
a confi con confederate of, of the person. So the boat was lying, and if the one of the person is the person who I care about, that make it worse, you know? You don't do people like that. When you see somebody with a kind heart, you don't use them. You know, don't do that. Hey, let me tell you something. Somebody did me wrong in Jamaica last year, right? <laughs> and I prayed about it, and I said to myself, huh, you're going to need me. I am not saying anything. I'm going to pray because I know one day you're going to come back to me. And I'm going to get to laughing your face and be like, ha, 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 no way, Jose. And I live to see that person came back. After you robbed me, after you robbed me, you came back to me. I was like, uh-huh. See? God work on his time, not on your time. You see it? He work on, on his time, not on your time. I am saying that to say this people be honest in everything that you're doing because God have a way of exposing you God have a way of exposing the evil that you are doing God have a way of exposing the lies that you're telling and I, I, I can't understand how a grown person should just get up one day and just be a leash on somebody's all because of their kindness does that make sense? I don't I don't see the logics in that. Does that make sense? Miss Lariel, does that make sense? Miss Jennifer, Miss Angela, does that really make sense? How can a person with their limbs intact? All your limbs are intact. Yeah? You have hands, you have feet. I go out there on the street and I saw people with, with no if look in Africa, go to Africa. Let's take a let's take a let's take a walk over to Africa. Let's take a walk over to Africa, yeah? Come on, let's take a walk over to Africa. You see people with, with no hands and they're working. You see, you see ladies on the street with no legs and they're still selling stuff. Yeah? So I don't understand. I really don't understand why our own Jamaicans feel like they should have their body intact and still be begging. You go to some other country and you see people, disabled people, and they're working. And you'd be like, my God, don't they have family? Yes, they do have family, but guess what? They want to be independent. They don't want to be dependent. So they will work for what they want. You understand me? They will work for what they want. So what about you? What about you that all your limbs are intact? Me not telling no lie, you know? I'm not telling any lies. I'm not telling any lies. I don't see. I I I I, I, don't, I don't see no. Well, I can only say Jamaican because Jamaicans are what I know about. So my Jamaican people are the worst when it comes to begging. My Jamaican people are the worst when it comes to begging, and I'm I'm, I'm saying this with no apology because I, I'm not being in it. I'm I'm not like in any other country. That I saw people that do this. Or see anybody who, who, who have done this better than a Jamaican. And when you start giving Jamaican people um, stuff, when you start giving um, Jamaican people stuff, Star Girl, big up yourself. How many? Wait there. What is now? Well, are you guys got something going wrong, yes, sir? Something going wrong for my phone a while ago. No, well, are they? You know, so I'm not saying no comment. I just want to comment pop up Star Girl. I'm going to do the phone now. Sorry, guys, if I'm not saying the comment. Miss Paulette, leave them to God. Time will tell. Yes, Miss Star Girl, big up yourself. Uh, Miss. Miss. Bre 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 Where's your name again? Brevenal. A glimpse, me a glimpse, and a Ross. Good morning, good night. May I say some, something? Miss Janice, Miss Janice Stewart. I never did see them comment here. No, sorry about that. Yeah. My phone did flip a while ago. The phone never did a work good a while ago and they almost drop off or something. You understand me? Wicked people them man and then the real people them who want help can't get no help. I don't understand what I have no whole body heart and soul and beg so much. I don't believe in that. Stop the begging. Get up. A new year now. Go find something to do with your life. I told myself I wasn't going to work again because I thought I could do but when I look at so much people and they ask me every day I was like oh my god the little that I have is for myself 
I can't give it. I said, no, nah, flawless. You got to do something to help some people because me, me just feel that if me not help people, my blessing is going to be gone. You know, that's just me feel like if me not help somebody, my blessing I go take away. Them. And because that's, that's what I've been known for ever since I was a young person. So my mother, the writers, I can't tell you. The family of us are givers. My mom, the right here, so I can't tell you. We are givers. And you know what the Bible say, givers never lack. So I, I said to myself, if I don't give, I'm not going to be able to, con to maintain and, and contain my blessings. Because that's what I've been known for, you know? So I want to continue to give. So in that case, I will just do what is right. I'm going to make sure that I have a, an income that, that even, even to put down a part of the money any, any time or every time that, you know, somebody would call and say, you know, flawless, I'm down on my face. I'm asking for a little strength. You know, the amount of message I have in my inbox right now, people reaching out for help and I can't help them right now. Yeah, man, I have a lot of messages that people really asking for help. And I can't, I can't assist them right now because I am, I am, um, I am not in the in the position right now to help them. And I, I feel a weird boy. I, mean, I tell them I feel a weird. You understand me, Miss Barlett? Me feel a weird when somebody reach out to me, Miss Barbara Page. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Um, no, they just ungrateful. No, these people just ungrateful. Ungrateful. A true them ungrateful for real very ungrateful very ungrateful I wonder why them still like that why them still like that you understand me just because you know Miss Barbara kind and you beg Miss Barbara hundred dollar today and she give it to you tomorrow again I come your light bill no pay Miss Barbara give you hundred and fifty Next month you come again and you're, you're picking and no shoes so you go to school. Miss Barbara send down barrel for you. You never stop. You, ne you come like a blackmailer. A blackmailer never stop. They blackmail you for something today. Believe me, no matter how much money you pay them, they're going to come back. They will always come back. They're going to keep coming back. A blackmailer never stop. You hear me? Yes, a blackmailer never stop. You give them what you have today, I am pretty much sure that, you know, end this all. They must say, oh, pay me off. You know, I'm not going to say this again. I'm just destroy the evidence that I have. Let they go destroy it. Because guess what? If the person who you're hiding from is not going to forgive you, God will forgive you. And if, if you did something bad and somebody love you and decide that because you did something bad, they won't forgive you forget about them because me sure say God forgive them and then every everybody have a have a past and everybody sin you hear me everybody have a past and everybody sin everybody have a past and everybody sin so if you, if you have a lover and you're you are, let's use the word cheat say you cheat on your lover right and somebody know and they're blackmailing you do not fall for that let they go let them let them let them um let them let them go show whoever your evidence because if you have a husband you cheat once the first time it happened and him love you he will forgive you and don't move on may not be the same again but at least he will forgive you you understand me he will forgive you and you will you you will get through it you will get past it once him love you he might go forgive you you understand me he will forgive you and anytime he forgive you you don't talk about it and you don't do it again unless you're a damn cheater you will continue to cheat vice versa same thing for the man too you know but love conquers all but don't fall for your friend. I go tell her, say, oh, if you don't give me a certain amount of money, I go tell your husband, I go tell your wife, no, go and go tell him. Me first I go tell him. You tell me that, I say, okay, then I'll give you money later. And meanwhile, you talk about that, I go and find my husband or my wife, and I go and sit him down and talk to him. Honey, I did something and I'm sorry. Even if you go down for your knee and beg and ball, go tell him, say, you're sorry. Make sure you say, you will be the first one, go tell him. You will be the first one, go tell him, say, you cheat. So he will forgive you. We're going to talk more about that. I'm going to talk more about this thing. Because I don't know when we start wanting me to end up in all 20 different stories. You understand me? Because we're born in sin. Yes, man. 
yes that is true people find a way to use people we're gonna talk more upon this blackmailing thing and we're gonna talk more about this everything forgiveness and everything i don't know me know i'm gonna touch little things and me jump out on the road but if i'm going to stop and shop to go buy some water i'm not gonna be able to hold the phone and hold, hold the phone and those bottles so i will talk back to you maybe tomorrow or so and you know me now so god bless you people whatever you do remember to put god first and my newcomers welcome 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 i hope you come back again and god bless you all right miss miss um the people in from pakistan and all these people all right god bless them peace out